Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to make a start on the main menu script. So let's begin by creating a new C Sharp script and we will just call this main menu and then we will open it up for editing. And we're just going to get the basic framework for the script in place in this video. But we'll begin right at the very top and we'll add a new using statement of unity engine dot scene management. Let's close the line off. So we need to lo load to a new scene from this script. So we need to have this in place. And here we'll also open and close square brackets and we'll say require component we'll open brackets and we want type of we'll open brackets again and we want of type audio source and then we need to close brackets twice let's put that into the comments so we'll just say add audio source when attaching script I'll just create a line break there we'll save that off we'll downsize mono develop and then we will drag and drop our script onto the main camera and as you can see it's added an audio source so let's get some more things in place and we're going to come here now where we normally put our variables and we will have variables to put in in the coming videos but for now we need to get something else in place although it is a type of variable we're going to say private and of type string and then we want to open and close the square brackets because we're creating an array. Then we want underscore main menu buttons. We're going to say equal. So we're creating an array of our buttons for this scene. And it's going to equal a new string array will open and close brackets so the reason for this is we can't do GUI the way most of you probably would expect to do it within this script and there's a reason for that and that's because when the game starts as you already know we actually disable the mouse and all input is via a controller so because of that this way is the sort of the uh, best way of doing it so let's come inside those brackets so we're creating a, an array of buttons it's going to be equal to a new string that's going to include and we need the little speech marks We'll come inside, underscore, we'll say one player. We'll come to the end, we'll comma, two speech marks again. And as you probably guessed, we'll just put two player. We'll come to the end of the line, comma, speech marks again. We'll say underscore quit. No comma this time. And we'll actually come here where we've closed brackets and we just need to close the line off as normal. So let's save that there. So an array of buttons that's going to be equal to a new string array of these buttons. And yes, we will be in including an options button, but I'm going to come back and add that in later when we actually come round to doing the options menu script. So that will be coming later, but for now we're just going to have those 
three buttons, the three main buttons, and we'll add options, as I said, at a later date. So, with that in place, let's come just below, and we're going to say, it can be a type private, and I'm going to say, main menu controller. And then we're going to say underscore main menu controller again. And in fact, let's put a comment onto this string actually. Let's come here, we'll say creates an array of GUI buttons for the main menu scene. Let's come back to this line and we'll just close the line off now into the comments. Don't worry about the red error. We're going to fix that in a moment. But we'll say defines naming convention for main menu controller. And we're going to come below here and it can be of type private and we're going to create an enum. And we're actually going to use main menu controller and this should fix the error. So we'll open and close brackets as you can see. It's changed back to blue. And yeah, we'll put a comment in. We'll say defines states. Uh, yeah, we'll just say main menu can existing let's come inside and uh, we're going to say the first state is going to be main menu and we want fade in and we'll make that equal zero comma next one main menu and yeah we'll just say at idle equal one comma main menu and I'm sure you've guessed this one's going to be fade out. That can be equal to two. Again, no comma on the last one. So these are the states now that this script, this scene can exist in. And let's go ahead and we'll actually create them voids now. So let's come below the void update just before the very last close bracket and we'll say of type private void and we'll just in fact let's just copy and paste that naming convention in we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again and in fact let's just copy that whole block now let's paste it in twice more and we'll copy and paste at idle and the same for main menu fade out. And in fact, let's come and we'll create this now. We'll say private void main menu. We'll just say button press. And let's open and close brackets. We'll open and close again. And yeah, let's get the debug logs in place. Debug.log. We'll open and close brackets, close the line off, come inside the little speech marks, and then we will paste in the name of the void. Just get rid of that one. So let's just copy and paste that line. We'll paste it in there in fact i'll create a blank line there as well and yeah we'll put it in button press as well so let's just copy and paste that into the debug log same for fade out and finally for button press and let's just save that off there so we've got some of the basic framework in place for this script um, 
quite a lot to do, but um, I think we'll leave it here for now and pick it up in the next video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.